www.sbscontact.org or contact any of the centres near you. Today's episode will be presented in English, Spanish and Chinese with subtitles in Arabic, Polacis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Sikh, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romania, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. أهلا ومرحبا بكم مشاهدين الأعزاء أنا سحر من دمشق من سوريا بلد العراقة والجمال تقع سوريا على مفترق الطرق بين القارات الثلاث آسيا وأفريقيا وأوروبا وبما أنها تشكل محورا بين بحر قزوين والمحيط الهندي والبحر الأسود ونهر النيل فقد كانت مركزا ثقافيا وتجاريا رئيسيا يربط بين الشرق والغرب طيلة أربعة آلاف سنة بسبب تاريخها الغني سوريا المعاصرة هي اليوم موطن غني لثقافات دينية وعرقية متنوعة دمشق عاصمة سوريا وأكبر مدنها يطلق عليها اسم لؤلؤة الشرق وقد أشاد المستشرقون عبر التاريخ بجمالها وخصوبتها لقد كانت على الدوام مركزا فكريا وتجاريا يقع مسرح بصر الروماني على طريق الحرير والذي يعد أكبر المسارح الرومانية اكتمالا وجهوزية في العالم هذه المدن الأخاذة بالإضافة إلى المدن الأثرية مثل تدمر وقلعة الحصن مدرجة ضمن برنامج منظمة الأمم المتحدة للتربية والتعليم والثقافة اليونسكو للتراث الدولي كمواقع للتراث العالمي كثيرا ما يردد السوريون عبارة البيت بيتك والتي تعني Our home is your home الشعب السوري شعب لطيف ومتعاون وودود ويواجه الحياة بقلوب عامرة بالدفء والشجاعة يشرفنا أن نشارككم لمحة عن سوريا المثيرة للأعجاب عسى أن تمتلئ أيامكم بكل ما هو جديد ومثير على مدى أكثر من ثلاثة عقود من فكت كبيرة المعلمين تشينغهاي تنير درب عالمنا من خلال تعاليمها الإلهية كمعلم حقيقي تمنح المعلمة طريقة كوانيان في التأمل لأولئك التواقين لاكتشاف طبيعة الله داخلهم وتحقيق التحرر الأزلي من دوامة الحياة والموت خلال حياتهم طريقة كوانيان مورست من قبل سائر المعلمين المستنيرين أمثال بوذا ويسوع المسيح والنبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وغورونا ناك إنها تؤكد إنه بذكرنا الحثيث لله والتضحية من أجل الآخرين وعدم انتهاك القوانين الكونية فنصل لأعلى مرتبة يمكن أن يبلغها البشر وندرك الهدف من وجودنا على هذه الأرض كبيرة المعلمين شينغهاي هي مثال حي واستثنائي للرحمة فهي تقوم بانتظام بتقديم المساعدات العينية والمالية فضلا عن المحبة للاجئين والمشردين والمتضررين من الكوارث الطبيعية وسواهم ممن يحتاجون للغوث
في عام 2006 نالت المعلمة جائزة جوسي للسلام وهي تضاهي جائزة نوبل للسلام في الشرق وقد كرمت على مر السنين بمنحها العديد من الجوائز والأوسمة الشرف تقديرا لأعمالها الخيرية والإنسانية المتميزة وكصوت حقيقي يدافع عن أصدقائنا الحيوانات الجميلة تشجع المعلمة على اتباع النظام الغذائي النباتي المفعم بالمحبة والسلام الذي من شأنه إيقاظ الوعي الإنساني لمدى قدسية الحياة بكافة أشكالها وصولا إلى عالم مجيد تعمه النباتية ويسوده التناغم حيث الحيوانات والبشر يعيشون في وئام إن مبادراتها لنشر النهج النباتي متنوعة وتشمل توزيع نشرات العيش البديل وسلسلة مطاعم لافينغ هايت النباتية وتلفزيون كبيرة المعلمين بالإضافة إلى مكالمة الحكومات وكبريات وسائل الإعلام والمشاركة في مؤتمرات عبر دائرة تلفزيونية مغلقة بشأن تغيير المناخ علمنا بذلك أم لم نعلم إن لجهودها تأثير هائل على الوعي العالمي فيما يخص الإحسان للحيوانات وكيف أن نمط الحياة هذا يمكن أن يحقق السلام الدائم بين الدول إضافة لإنقاذ كوكبنا من آثار تغيير المناخ الكارثية على مر السنين جابت كبيرة المعلمين شينغهاي العالم من الأمريكيتين إلى إفريقيا ومن أوروبا إلى أقيانوسيا وألقت مئات المحاضرات أمام الجمهور وتلاميذها متناولة باقة متنوعة من الموضوعات الروحية يشرفنا اليوم أن نقدم واحدة من هذه المحاضرات العميقة بعنوان طعام مفعم بالمحبة والسلام الجزء واحد من ستة ضمن سلسلة بين المعلمة والتلاميذ التي ألقيت باللغات الإنجليزية والإسبانية والصينية في الثالث والعشرون من آذار 2012 بفرنسا Okay, how are you guys? How are you meditation? Good? Everything good? I went to Love in Hood. Food is good. <laughs> Just to try. First time ever. They opened a long time already. How many? One year? How long ago? One year and a half? One and a half? Yeah, and I have first time been there. First time. It's a nice restaurant. Have you been? Yes. No, no, some of you? Many times. Many times? You live here? <laughs> no, I mean this restaurant nearby. Every time we, we came here and we go there. Every time you come here, you go there? <laughs> How many times? Don't remember. Don't remember? Four. So many times? Today you change places, huh? Familiar face gone. <laughs> it's good to see all of you, yes. See the checks, you know, changing places. Now you can see my wrinkle, you know, take turn. <laughs> More clear when you go near, right? <laughs> How many? You see that? Didn't see any. Uh, it's not as much as the karma that we have. Huh? It's a mark of the karma meal. One wrinkle is billions of karma. Yeah, keep going. Just joking. My God, can you take a joke? <laughs> you can't count karma. It's too much. Too much. Just a handful of disciples, 60 plus percent. Oh, scary, scary. Scary, scary night. <laughs> okay, guys, what do we do today? I feel like spring is here already, so I put some flowers. <laughs> they have so many, my God, so flowery. That means I'm getting old. <laughs> old people, <laughs> they, 
They, they, were, they were a lot of flowery stuff, <laughs> blooming, you know, <laughs> catching, you know, catching back the springs <laughs> that passed. <laughs> okay. It seems like your master is catching up <laughs> too many springs. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. I told you that uh, we have done, I have done some research, and there's some interesting thing. Are you sure you want to know about it? Yeah. About the food, yeah? yeah? But, you know, once you know, you feel guilty when you eat. That's the problem. So are you sure you want to know about it? Yes. Better not to know, because ignorance is bliss. <laughs> they say like that. Okay, there's another thing. You really want to know, huh? Yes. And after that, you don't pray to me, Master, please help me just to eat these things, and then I have to eat your, your stuff. <laughs> okay, the list is not really complete, okay? Uh, just, uh, you want to hear about dogs? <laughs> dogs, you can eat dogs' pellets. This is just for me, therefore, there's so many things. Dogs can eat dogs' pellets. Dog veggie bones, dogs vegetable, and con <laughs> yeah, and uh, and eat all the thing that you know, not not all, but whatever in here they can eat or not eat, but they don't eat avocado, for example, yeah, and they don't eat like apple seed, yeah, they should not, or uh, chocolate, you know, right, okay? When you adopted a dog, they give you a guideline book, right? You all know, right? Yes? Not so sure, are you? <laughs> you better learn to know, okay? Because some things are not good for dogs. And there's uh, good for humans, but not good for dogs. Okay, now, these are the list, the un incomplete list. But I guess we can live on these things uh, enough already, yeah? Okay. Um, this is my dog schedule. I guess you also want to know. Monday, <laughs> Monday tortilla, chopped nuts, soy milk, uh, uh, dinner, veg protein, dry protein, fresh beets, mushroom, cucumber, potatoes, green melon. Tuesday, dog food, melons, veg burger, Chinese cabbage, plum, carrot, millet. Wednesday, fresh. <laughs> yeah, they have better menu than I have. Yeah. You see, because uh, sometimes I'm not home, I have to write it all down, so it's just a guideline, you know? We break it any time, yeah? we break the rules any time. Just so that the, the assistant know how to give them, you know, safely when I'm not home. Okay, yeah. These are the least or uh, absolute, uh, almost non-violent food. I call it peace and love food, peace and love in food, okay. Cereals, cereals, yeah? You can eat bread, uh, you know, couscous, millet, Musli, without those uh, later on. There's some different musli, yeah? So they are without the later uh, listed afterwards, yeah. Quinoa, you know quinoa? Yeah. Mm. Which grain? But I t as I told you, it's just for me. You want to know further or not? Yes. The least is not your favorite. Never mind, you eat it when you want. I'm just telling you, okay? Because if you don't, I will have to eat it. <laughs> it's a usual, a usual principle around here. Okay, condiments. You can use any star gloves, the dry gloves, coriander seed, coriander powder, cumin seed, cumin powder, maggi sauce, salt, soya sauce, mm, uh, the sugar from the agave, you know, from the... Cactus, yeah, okay. Vegetable broth, if it doesn't include it, the long list afterward, the list afterward, okay. If, of, uh, if made of least or non-violent food, of course, nah, I add it on, okay. Now, nut, you can eat cashew, pine nut, pistachio. All the nuts sometimes, they... Not so sure, yeah? Like walnuts, if they fall on the ground, and if they harvest them when it's already almost like broken from the tree, you know, too dry, so almond when it's already so dry, so dead, then it's okay, yes. 
But to be sure, cashew, pine nut, pistachio is sure, okay? So we just stick with the sure. Oh, I mean, I stick with the sure. Seeds. You can eat melon, all kind of melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, okay? Now, sweetener, you have, can have sugar from radish or the like. Not sugar cane. I, I, I mean, I, yeah, <laughs> your. <laughs> Je. Yeah. <laughs> or sugar or syrup from cactus, already mentioned. Vegetarian, uh, vegan protein, like dry soy texture powder, dry wheat protein powder and texture. Uh, hams, you know, vegetarian hams, uh, vegan hams, vegan sausages, uh, vegan sitan, tofu, uh, tofu mixed with uh, mushroom or plain. Yeah. Okay, the reason I wrote all this is just for my assistant to buy stuff, okay? I don't know why I told you. I, I didn't know that I'm going to see you anyway, <laughs> up until, you know, recently. Mm, oh, uh-huh. Fruit, I forgot to tell you about the fruit. Or maybe afterward. Remind me, okay? Mm. Vegetables. You can eat uh, different kind of roots like Arrow root, beet, yeah, beet root, carrot, Chinese cabbage, or bok choy, coriander. Surprise! I thought I couldn't eat it, uh, but it's okay. Uh, it belongs to like grass, like yeah, uh, wow, grass-like uh, family. It doesn't belong to vegetable. Maybe that's why it doesn't have. Consciousness, oh, very, very, very little. Uh, coriander, cucumber, dry beans, not fresh beans. Fresh beans, they cut it from the stem. It might hurt. Some doesn't hurt, so some hurts. So the dry beans, because it's already dry and dead, they, they mostly harvest it when it's already dry. It's, it's okay. Now, dry corn is okay, but fresh corn, no. Dry corn, because when they harvest it, the corn, the corn plants already gone, you know, brown and dead, with it. But when they harvest the baby corns, you know, the young, young corns, the plant is still alive. They hurt them. Few hurts, okay? Well, I'm just a little, maybe, extreme, but you don't have to. Understand? I just let you know in case you want to choose it, okay? Mm. Many others, you know, I don't, I don't tell you, just like uh, whatever, <laughs> barley or something. So whatever I don't write in here yet, that means uh, maybe not sure or maybe better. Forget it. Understand? Yes. Like, you know, you can eat bread, you can eat couscous, and millet, mostly quinoa, wheat, you know, wheat grain. Oat grain maybe okay too, huh? Oat grain, how do they harvest oat? Anybody knows? Maybe not, maybe not. Uh, keep it. <laughs> we have a lot of food already. A lot of people don't have food even, yeah? So even if we feel it's too ascetic, it's still okay, yeah? Compared to many people who has no food at all, yeah? Uh, continue with vegetable. You can eat garlic if you want. <laughs> can eat ginger, mm? hot. You can eat ginseng, okay. Lentils, all kind of lentils, dry, okay. Can eat any mushroom, fresh or dry. You can eat any of the fungus family, like uh, I say black mushroom, eh? yes, uh, fragrant mushroom, the first room that grow on the trees. Mm? You call that in English what black mushroom? Moo Moo. Black, black fungus? Yes. Sounds funny though. Mm. Fungus. Okay. Uh, potatoes you can eat. Surprise. Yes. Radish, any kind of radish, you know, the red one or the white long one. Romaine Roman lectures. Okay. But the, the other lectures, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised too. Sprouts, yeah? Any sprouts? Okay. 
because there's only water in there, you know, the sprouts mostly. Any kind of turnip. Oh, now I forgot to bring you the turnips. I have it with me. Uh, I check out how I do that in a while, okay? You can eat the spinach, but if the leaves only, if they take the leaves only, okay? Not if they cut the whole uh, twig, then no. And there's a Chinese uh, chai called Qing, Qing Chai. Lan. No, no, it's similar kind of celery, but inside is hollow. It's uh, nicer than celery and very skinny, skinnier than celery. Maybe Chinese celery, okay, how about that? Check it out, what it looks like, okay? <laughs> Qin Tai. Qin Lai. Look like uh, the whale or something. Huh? Okay, yeah, celery, huh? Yeah, and uh, there is a water spinach, Vietnamese we call it rongung, inside is hollow, yeah, water spinach. And crescent, bitter gourd, Chicory, okay, okay. Uh, general guide, uh, the fruit, I haven't told you yet. Okay, fruit, and then general guide after. Okay, also before that. Okay, concerning the fruit, as I told you yesterday, for example, this is a banana, huh? And it has a stem from the fruit. It connects it with the, the big uh, twig or the big branch and then connect to the tree. If you cut the banana like this and eat it, and it's okay. Or when it's very ripe from the tree, you just peel it, you know, take it without, without cutting it. Take the, the thing out, peel, the, the peel it, you know, peel some of it, and then it falls off. Then you can eat that, it doesn't hurt. But you see, in the beginning, God made them just for a bunch of people, maybe just two people, like Adam and Eve. So, so there's no, no they, they don't destroy so much, they don't cut trees. Even just eat an apple and look at how we have to suffer. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Understand? Maybe because at that time there's not much fruit and only one apple. And God probably know that the apple would feel hurt if, if you just pluck it like that. So God told Adam and Eve not to take them, not to eat them. But if the apple falls from the tree, no problem, hmm? okay? And also, if you cut the apple two-thirds, I told you already, then you can eat any fruit, you can do that. And general guy is that uh, those uh, soft fruits, like plums or tomatoes, yeah? You can, did I say vegetable tomato in here? Did I? No, no tomatoes? Can have, if you see that they harvest it without the stem, you know? Because the tomato, you can also take it without, without taking the whole stem with it, you see what I mean? So if you see those kind of tomatoes, or you see some similar kind like apples without the stem that's attached to the apple, you understand? Then chances are they do it without or it fell on from the tree, so you can have some, okay? Uh, apricot, peach, any kind without, without the stem attached to the head of the fruit then it's okay. That means when they harvested, it, they did not hurt the tree. The tree did not have to feel hurt, or maybe it fell from the ground. Fell to the ground, from the tree. <laughs> fell to the tree from the ground. No, fell from the ground to the tree. No. <laughs> from the tree to the ground. I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah. Any fruit is like that. If it's ribbon, if it's uh, very, very ripe, you just easily take it and it doesn't have to cut anything. It just like immediately fall into your hand. Then it should be okay. Most soft fruit is like that, yes. So I think the best is that we have to plant our fruit trees and harvest it ourselves. <laughs> we know how to do it. The banana, we don't take the whole thing, we just cut it and leave the, the top, you know still hanging on the tree, then it's the best way to be sure what you eat. 
Anyway, so now come to fruit because I have missed that part before. I told you the list is short anyway, and I still managed to miss some. Fruit, yeah, fruity duty. All berries, berries, except strawberry. Funny, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's, I told you, it's amazing, yes. Because some plants, they have consciousness. Some plants, not yet. Oh, very, very minimal. They don't feel much. Okay, understand? Mm. Okay, all fallen fruits. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, avocados, if it's fallen, ripe, or mostly when it's black and people harvest without something attached to the fruit, it should be okay. So when you buy, you look for the black and very soft one. Then it's most likely that is fallen from the tree or they harvest without, without the stem, you know? The stem, right? S-T-E-M. Is that correct? Okay, thank you. Uh, citrus family is similar, but mostly they, they, they cannot take it without the stem. They just have to cut it. So eat it with care, yeah? Or pick the one without any head on the fruit. Uh, you can eat coconuts as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's no problem. And when they cut the coconut fruit from the coconut tree, it's like you cutting your fingernails. It doesn't hurt him, the tree, okay? So please be welcome to the coconut. Move, <laughs> move to an island and <laughs> help yourself. <laughs> yeah, have big old monkey. <laughs> you can eat dates, fresh or dry. Uh, you can eat figs. You know the dates? They is from the palm tree, look like palm like, yeah. So move to Arab country. <laughs> they have a lot of them, you know? That's their stable food. Fix, yeah? Yes. As long as nothing attached to fruit, for example, because it's, a, it's similar, it's a softened. When it's really soft, then you can do it. When it's still hard, then not. All kind of melons. Hmm? Yes. Well, our head look like melon, no wonder. Yeah? <laughs> Maybe we are family. <laughs> star fruit, as long as also not, nothing attached to the, the fruit. Yeah? But the star fruit is also very soft to remove, even if with the stem, it's not much a problem. Yes. Tomatoes, uh -huh, here comes. As long as nothing attached to the fruit. Only the fruit, ball fruit. No, round, ball, nothing more. Apricot and peach, same, same like tomatoes. When there's nothing attached to it, you can eat. Okay, yeah, not much is it, huh? Any question? Hmm? No banana even. Oh, how sad. Now you, you sorry you here? Oh, <laughs> look like, look like you're going to die. <laughs> of. <laughs> lack of fruit, food. And you thought you're eating fruit and you're already something big, huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. So you think you are raw and you are something good already, huh? Sorry, disappoint your ego. Anyway, um, you can eat uh, raw or, or you can eat cook, whatever you like, okay? Just practice well to go above the food even. Huh? So even when you eat, it's not like you're eating, yeah? Well, don't worry, you do what you do. Hmm? Don't feel proud that you are fruit, raw, 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 foodist or, or nudist or, I mean, no, I mean, <laughs> fruit, fruit, <laughs> fruitist or, <laughs> or, you know, breatharian, whatever. It has to be more than that, okay? Yes. And even you could eat all the food you can, you know, cook, raw, whatever. And even with beyond this list also. And you still can reach very high level if you're that powerful. So no problem really, okay? If you're sincere, you can clean it all. But of course, to be sure, the more simplified life, the better. The less heavy, that's all, okay? The reason if I follow this list, you know, because it's the least harmful to the tree, the least painful, yeah, or almost non, non-painful to the tree. Uh, because I love the trees, 
and I feel the pain they have, not because I want to go higher level with that. No, I'm already very, very high. None of you can reach, but never mind. Is uh, you don't need to reach that high. You can't. You can't. Okay. Um, the thing is, even with the list, you know, once, once, uh, even after the list, I still once ate the banana. I found some banana that the tree already dead. <laughs> But you have to do it yourself, you know, you have to go into the supermarket. If my assistant go, then I, I don't advise them to buy. But if I go into the supermarket myself, then sometimes it's lucky to find some banana, you know, it's the, the stem is all withered and brown because the tree has been dead before it has been cut. Some trees maybe just happen, not once in a while only. Not all, not all banana tree die, you know. But sometimes the banana tree is somehow broken from the wind or maybe already old, and the banana is harvested. And it's just lucky. Yeah, but I don't get that lucky so often. <laughs> so I go without banana. Okay, if I eat one, of course, maybe once a while, if it's there, tempted me, then I feel very sorry and I pray for the tree and I compensate with some spiritual merit points. And he's happy, or she's happy, of course. The thing is, if we eat the tree or the herb that listed or not listed, of course the vegetable or the trees also has some blessing eh, from you, eh? deducted eh? automatically. Eh? So of course, if you meditate a lot, even you can eat beyond the list, you know. Of course, just that you have to be very grateful before you eat. Yes, be very grateful for the sacrifice of all creations. And be thankful to heavens, yeah? Or to all involved with your meal, so that you have such a delicious fruit or vegetable, raw or not raw, okay? So don't be proud of anything that you do, because we are zero here. Whatever we do, without the grace of heaven, without the grace of initiation, whatever you do is all sin, even vegetarian or vegan. Understand? Don't ever be proud that you are vegan, vegetarian, or raw, or for who, or whatever, okay? Eat or not eat. Many breatharians are only third level. And many of your brother and sister, not breatharian, but fourth or fifth. Understand me? Yeah. Don't be proud, but don't judge also, yeah? Don't judge. I'm just telling you as is, so you know what is what. And truly, many things aren't that as important as we think. And many things is not the way it is, yeah? The way it looks. Thank you. Leave it here. Yeah, dig it in. I brought you this turnip. <laughs> So you know what turnip means. In German they call it, uh, what? Ko? Something? Korabi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just have a little tuft of hair on top, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's why really not much consciousness, okay? So you can eat it, okay? Even Vietnamese called Gu Shang cannot eat, eh? Gu Shang, I don't know what that is. English? Ikama? Yes? Gu Shang la ki? Ikama. Sound like Japanese. <laughs> Yamaha something? Mm. <laughs> so cute, huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you can just buy them everywhere. Uh, I don't know. Um, in the supermarket right now, I don't think you can find it. That's why I brought it to you. I bought it so you have a look. I bought it about... I don't know, two, two weeks ago, and he's still okay. Uh, it's, uh, I happened to pass by a, a kind of flea market, and this guy, he sells them so cheap, you know, like two euro for uh, dozens of them, and even one extra as a gift. <laughs> you know, the farmers, they brought direct their produce. I don't know, maybe they grow it in a greenhouse. So you don't find it right now, but maybe later on in, uh, in summer you find them. Yes. So now you know. Turnip, eh? One of one of the turnip family.
Okay? Yeah. There's a lot to eat already. Peanuts also not in the list. I'm so sorry. Yes. Yeah, funny, huh? Potato is in the list, but sweet yam, no. <laughs> Cassava, no. Peanuts, no. <laughs> yes. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> hmm. مشاهدينا الأحبة شكراً لانضمامكم إلينا في حلقة اليوم بعنوان طعام مطعم بالمحبة والسلام الجزء واحد من ستة ضمن سلسلة بين المعلمة والتلاميذ ابقوا معنا على تلفزيون كبيرة المعلمين لمزيد من البرامج الإيجابية التالي من النصوص البوذية المقدسة سترا ميتا وسترا دماكاكا بافاتانا الجزء اثنان من أربعة على كلمات من الحكمة عسى أن تنير المحبة الإلهية أيامكم وتضيء الرحمة درب كل شخص تقابلونه May divine love brighten your day and light up the compassion of everyone you meet For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.